Hello and welcome back to the lair. Today I will be reviewing Stormgate. There's a lot of different opinions on the game, here's mine. If you commented on my previous video though, check the community post or watch the video to find out who won the V Rising key. If you didn't win, don't worry. We'll have another draw, this time for 7 days to die, it will be next week. Really quick, if you're already subscribed, you're awesome, and if you're not awesome, click the button to join the goblin tribe. So, Stormgate, the highly anticipated modern RTS, the savior of the genre and one of the most anticipated RTS games ever, is finally available to everyone in the early access. I will say I'm having a lot of fun, but I do understand the negative reviews and there's a good reason for that. It being that the story and the campaign are severely lackluster. I'll try to avoid spoilers as much as possibly. We start off with a cutscene setting the story up. This one is a pretty serviceable one and it ends up with a time jump. Here we meet Amara, commander of the vanguard forces who are fighting back against the infernal invaders. And here we also run into first problems. Samara, along with being very badly voice acted... I'll search the town, but let's keep eyes on the sky. Remember, we're not alone. ...is also extremely unlikable. Everything she says and does has to be in contrary to the other people. Along with that, she straight up threatens some civilians if they don't do as she says. Her story is also very reminiscent of one character from Warcraft 3, but executed much, much worse. At least for now. It doesn't help that you have to pay money for more chapters if you want to see the later parts of the story play out. Keep in mind, the campaign is far from over yet, so it can improve, but right now, if you want the game just for the campaign, I'd say it's not worth it. Not only because it's unfinished, but because it just isn't good right now. Luckily, this is the early access and they can still improve, but for a game which managed to secure over 35 million dollars, right now, it is a disappointment. The graphic style certainly is stylized and not everyone cup of tea. The cutscenes are graphically pretty bad, with every woman character looking more like a hobbit than a human, I don't know what the choice was here, and it makes the cutscenes seem quite unprofessional. In-game graphics are okay, although sometimes there's a problem between differentiating some units, but overall, if you like stylized graphic, they're okay. With the exception of some low resolution textures for grass and pathways. Sound for the most part is good, there's also a Frank Klepacki theme for the Infernals, which of course is always good. Battle sounds are good, but the announcer's sound are... not. There's a lot of clipping and intrusive sounds here, sometimes it can become quite unpleasant for the ear. All in all, the package of sound and graphics is okay for early access, but will have to improve in the future. But now, for the fun part. The one I am enjoying a lot. It's called 1v1. Before I start to explain why I like it, the problem is majority of players don't want to play 1v1. They want a good campaign, skirmish or co-op mode. 1v1 is admittedly the smallest number of the player base. But if you are into 1v1 rankings and leagues, you will enjoy Stormgate a lot. It's fun to pick your faction and try to outsmart your opponent. Yes, the balance right now isn't perfect, I'm looking at you Celestials with your two openings and eco shenanigans, but for the most part, if you're not playing at the highest of levels, you won't really notice that. I've played with all the faction, but so far I enjoy Infernals the most, Celestials are great but can get very samey with two openings being prevalent for them right now, and kind of feeling like you're playing against yourself and your ability to quickly execute the build order instead of acting and reacting to your opponent. The biggest offender here is Vector Rush, which even if executed slightly badly, can still win you games because the unit counters too much for a tier 1 unit. It's beatable, but not as much fun to play against as something like Vanguard vs Infernals or the Mirrors of those two. But overall, 1v1 really is where Stormgate shines and shows glimpses of a really good RTS, which we were promised. 
Even with me not being exactly at the best of my abilities yet, because I'm still getting used to the UI, shortcuts, build orders, as well as units and the roles, I have to say, this is by far the best mode Stormgate currently has. This is a problem though, if you like 1v1 then yes, I can recommend the game without feeling any guilt or shame for doing so. On the other hand, every other mode feels like an afterthought and let's face it, if you're a casual player, you just won't like it. There's kind of a stigma being attached to RTS genre that it's scary to jump into and that people get more anxious with playing rank matches in RTS than let's say something like Fortnite. I personally don't agree with that notion, which I'll explain in a future video, but I can certainly understand where that opinion is coming from. RTS is on the surface very complicated genre to play, and people put a lot of emphasis on APM or actions per minute, but I assure you, even if you're not the fastest person on earth, you can still enjoy high level of play. APM is good, but if it comes from something like meaningless clicking for nothing, it doesn't do anything. Rather focus on something I call MAPM or meaningful actions per minute. If you're smart, tactical and good with controlling your units, believe me, you have a chance. This little motivational speech is for the people who are afraid to jump into 1v1. Try it out. Yes, you'll maybe lose some games, but the more you learn, the better you'll become. And believe me, that feeling when you win a game is absolutely amazing, especially if it's a good one. I'll never forget the Command and Conquer Kane's Wrath game where I practically lost already. My opponent was attacking with tier 3 units and my base defenses were almost down. All I could do is build some rocket infantry. Then one of them, those became heroic and absolutely wiped tier 3 units, which I could take for myself from the husks left over and went on to beat the opponent with their own units. There's very little genres that can provide that kind of adrenaline and sense of accomplishment. Stormgate is free to play and in early access. Yes, the campaign right now is not worth it and to be very honest, I don't like a fully functioning store in early access, but overall the game isn't bad. I encourage everyone to take a dip into 1v1. Maybe you lose 10 in a row, but then finally win 1, which will make up for all the losses. Check the replays to see what your opponent did, maybe you learned something. And I do understand negative reviews completely, honestly the criticism is deserved and especially with the funds available for the development, it's pretty bad what they did with the campaign. What I don't think is that the game deserves to die and fade away, that it doesn't deserve. And that's why I do recommend that you play the game, give feedback and see it become the next great RTS. And here we have the draw for V Rising Key. I put it on Rathless. Let's see who won. And congratulations to Francisco NS4326. Do write in the comment where do you want to reach me or in the community post so I can give you the key. Congratulations again! So that was my opinion on Stormgate. If you liked the video, subscribe, comment down below. Don't forget, next week we have 7 days to die key giveaway on one of the videos. Not telling you which one just yet. Anyway, this is it for me now. Goblin out. Bye!